like to introduce you to the most, uh, I think, valuable house plant a person can have. It's called a spider plant, uh, Chlorophytum comosum, and it's native to Africa. Uh, you've probably seen them. Uh, they make great hanging plants. This is one I've got in my living room, but it's sitting in a tray under the window. Here are some hanging uh, spider plants that I have put outside for the summer. And one of the advantages of the spider plants, they're native to Africa, so uh, they're native to a, a pretty dry and warm climate, although they don't do as well in direct sunlight as they do in, uh, in filtered light. But they will do well in full sun, um, well, maybe not full sun, but half day sun and indoors. And that's one of the advantages there is they grow well indoors. And they grow, let me see if I can uh, go into the greenhouse here. I'm going to pull one up. Uh, let's pull it up. It's fairly decent sized here. I'm going to have to put the camera down. Let's see. Yeah, this does not want to come out, which is common, as you will see the reason for. So they grow these very uh, thick, bulbous roots, and they store water in them and nutrients, which makes them um, a lot more drought tolerant than most house, house plants. So if you screw up and don't water it uh, for an extended period of time, it will likely survive. Now, another advantage, I'll go back to the more developed one, is that they produce these runners. Um, these, these are blossom spikes. After the blossoms are done blooming, these runners put out baby plants. And as you can see, there's little roots already starting to form on some of these plants. And when they reach this point where they're putting out uh, these little roots, you can break them off let's, let's take this one by uh, by gently twisting it ah uh, there and so it's come off with the root and everything intact and then you can simply stick that in a tray of soil or a pot of soil um, like this it's best when you do this if you put it underneath a uh, in a propagation chamber or some place where you have reduced humidity demands but it will probably survive even if you don't as long as the soil is kept moist and they root very quickly um, this cutting that I or this start that I showed you the roots from um, I put in soil like this about a month ago so they they grow very quickly and so that, that makes them very easy to propagate. As you can see, I have a lot of little ones. And I have a bunch that I've potted, put, potted up into four inch pots. I have quite a few of those. And then as they get larger, you can put them in hanging containers or other decorative planters. And, uh, and these, in NASA did a study of plants that purify the air, that remove pollutants from the air for potential use in space, for cleaning the air in space stations. And the spider plants was found to be one of the best of these. So uh, if you're concerned about outgassing from glue that, that um, holds down your carpet or your tile or the paint that was applied in your house or any of those uh, under carpet, any of those kind of issues, the spider plant will remove benzene and most of the uh, dangerous <clears throat> uh, carcinogenic compounds that uh, outgas from from these toxins or from these uh, from these sources. So it it not only provides oxygen uh, in your air uh, during the daytime when it's photosynthesizing, you know, it's turning the CO2 in the air that you're exhaling into oxygen. So. In addition to that, it's also purifying the air.
And uh, if you'd like one of these, uh, along with a, um, a, a sheet of information about them, and about how to take care of them, and how to uh, start your own starts, well, I'll, I'll have this, this video, will, I just showed you how to start your own plants with these. They're very simple to propagate. Uh, if you'd like one of these, I'll leave instructions in the uh, in the uh, com or not the comments, but the description of how to order one from me. Thank you.